how many of these are so do I gotta kill? We get
Oh, there's a Mr. Marrow here to see you. Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Altor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. And old Tor would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Hello, Troy. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your, uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. Spare me. Alright, they're not getting released, and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. I suspect I'll hear from you soon. <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open-shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high-power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their clients' freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. But the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack.
moving more brotherhood by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. Nah, don't worry. Those bitches will never make it to shore. by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. Nah, don't worry. Those bitches will never make it to shore.
Mr. Vogel, Mr. See you. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Marrow. You think this is fucking funny? No, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again, and I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too, but I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero! Don't worry about your little shipment. Altor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Altor Security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. You can go now. That boat is never gonna make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero. Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. This gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing skee-ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play skee-ball. Fuck it. So you hit the docks like I asked. Wait, what? After the Feed Dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks, and you said... Look, I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Mero need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know, maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Mero, not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? Check it out. I got some more dirt on the ship. Oh, one sec. I got another call. What's up? Okay. I just got some more info on Mero's shipment. I'm listening. Mero's bought enough guns to take over... something that needs a lot of guns to take over. The point is that if you get to the cargo hold, you should find some nice toys to play with. I knew I could count on you. Bye, boss. You there? Meryl's got a shit ton of ammo stashed in the- Tell me something I don't know. Shandy filled me in. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the one who told Shandy about it. And quit trying to take Shandy's shine. We're all on the same team. We'll talk about this later. Shout it out.
could do this all day. I'm fine. What's up? I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Boss, are you there? Oh, I'm fine, Shondi. Suddenly I'm not so worried about the Brotherhood.
Johnny, get a crew over here. There's a lot of hardware to move. I'm on it, boss. I'm glad you all seem to like the new hardware the brother who decided to hook us up with. <laughs> you know, up until this point, we've been toying with Mero. Kill his bitch yeah. here, steal his money there. But I'm through playing. We know where he lives, we have his guns, and I say it's time we take that motherfucker out. What do you think? <laughs> with evidence, huh? City! You thought you could take the Saints? Moving people, we gotta take these bastards out. They're on their last legs.
really think you could take that through? I'm done killing your friends, Mero! Oh, 
complete it. Stop! Do you think it's over? Your little buddy screamed like a bitch when we trussed him up. How about you, bitch? You gonna scream?
I had one of my boys watch Donnie's mechanic shop after you shook him down. Merrill went to check on Donnie, but when he left, he went straight to the docks to set up some business deal. I don't know what's going on, but a convoy of Brotherhood are going to the docks now. If you can hijack one of their trucks, you could probably join the convoy, get to the meeting place, and take out all the motherfuckers that show up.